To make this hoodie from a newborn to a three months old baby, we need 100 grams of this yarn. The recommended needle is four millimeters, scissors, a needle, a four millimeters knitting needles and five buttons. We start casting on the stitches of the back. We continue knitting to the shoulders. We make the part of the head we continue to the front part, separating the two fronts. Pick up the stitches of the sleeves. Make the sleeves and pick up the stitches of the neck and make the hood. Here you can see the sizes of the body. I started with 42 stitches, that for me is 24 centimeters. How can you know how many stitches you have to make to have 24 centimeters? You have to make a, a small sample with the garter stitch and count in 10 centimeters how many stitches do you have and how many rows do you have? In my case, I have 18 stitches and 34 rows. So we have to start casting on the number of stitches to have 24 centimeters, in my case, 42 stitches on the back part of the hoodie. We make a slip knot and we have to cast on 42 stitches. You can use the way to cast on that you prefer. This is, remember, a newborn to three months size. Now we have to start working the garter stitch, working one knit stitch on each stitch of each row to have 16 centimeters. Remember, in the first row we have to knit the first stitch, knit the following stitches to the end, 16 rows with the garter stitch. You can make the knit stitch as you prefer. On the row number two, remember we have to work also the knit stitch in all the row. We have to take the edge stitch and knit all the stitches to the end of the row. Work the knit stitch in all the stitches. Row number three, we repeat the row number two. We have to take the edge stitch and knit all the stitches of the row. Work the knit stitch in all the row. Remember, you have to repeat the garter stitch to have 16 centimeters. I have to make 54 rows to get the 16 centimeters to arrive at the armhole. Now we have to make the decreases of the armhole. I'm going to decrease 3 stitches on each side. To make the decreases we have to start making a decrease of 3 stitches. We, get, we take the edge stitch, knit the following stitch and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. We 
we made one decrease we bind off one stitch and we have to bind off two more stitches so knit the following stitch and pass the first stitch over the second stitch Once we bind off 3 stitches, we have to knit to the end of this row, work the knit stitch to the end of this row. We made the 3 decreases on the row number 55, we have to make again 3 decreases on the row number 56 on the other side, on the other armhole. We have to bind off 3 stitches on this side and continue with the knit stitch to the end of this row we continue working 9.5 centimeters with the garter stitch where we have to start with the neck We have to work 11 stitches Bind off 14 stitches and leave 11 stitches on the other side and make also 11 stitches on the other side and we are going to work in one of the fronts of the hoodie so we take the edge stitch and work 10 more stitches work the knit stitch on the next 10 stitches now we have to bind off 14 stitches, so knit one, knit the following stitch and pass the first stitch over the second stitch and repeat binding off to bind off 14 stitches. Once we bind off 14 stitches we have to work 11 knit stitches. Here you can see the two shoulders with the part of the neck in the middle. We are going to work only in one front. So take the edge stitch and work the garter stitch to the end of this shoulder. turn and repeat the same, take the edge stitch and work the garter stitch to the end of the row. We will leave the stitches of the other shoulder on the needle. So continue working the garter stitch to have 5 cm. Now we have to knit this row and cast on 7 stitches. So work the knit stitch to the end. And once you have all the uh, stitches, you have to cast on 7 stitches. Once we cast on the 7 stitches we have to turn and work now the garter stitch in all the 7 stitches 
In this case, you have to work the first stitch. You don't have to take the edge stitch. You have to work the knit the stitch in all the rows, in all the stitches of this row. And now we have to work the garter stitch on the next 9.5 cm. So make the garter stitch in the next 9.5 cm. And now we have to increase the three stitches of the armhole. Here you can see the nine centimeters and a half. And now we have to increase three stitches on the side of the armhole. So cast on three stitches as we made before. And we have to work now 16 centimeters with the garter stitch. Remember in this row, in the first row, we have to work the knit stitch also in the first stitch. 16 centimeters working the garter stitch. Continue working the 16 centimeters, and once we finish, and once you finish, you have to bind off the stitches. Remember how to bind off the stitches. You have to take the edge stitch, knit one, pass the first stitch over the second stitch, knit one the first stitch over the second stitch and repeat the same to the end of this part. We have to bind off all the stitches. Once we bind off all the stitches of one off on one side, work now with the other shoulder. We have to repeat the same in this shoulder as we made with the other part. But in this case, we are going to make buttonholes. It's important to start now knitting in the center of the neck. You have to start knitting in this side of the stitches. So take the yarn and knit all the stitches of this row. In this case, we have to knit also the first stitch. Knit all the stitches of this side of the shoulder and repeat the garter stitch. Remember to have five centimeters. We have to repeat the same in this side, but in this case, we have to make the button holes. We make the five centimeters of the shoulders, cast on seven centimeters in the center of the front part, work the garter stitch 9.5 cm, cast on the 3 stitches of the armhole and continue working the 16 cm to finish this front part. In this case I made the buttonholes every 5 cm. To make the buttonholes we have to work the garter stitch to four stitches before the end. We have to knit two together 
yarn over and knit two. Turn and knit two. Knit the yarn over, knit the decrease of the previous row and continue with the knit stitch in all this row. Here you can see the buttonhole. Once we finish the part of the body, we have now to make the sleeves. We have to pick up a stitches on this space. We have to pick up the stitches in between the one armhole and the other armhole. So take the needle, take the yarn and pick up the stitches. We have to pick up one stitch on each knot. one stitch on each knot. You can use a crochet hook to pick up the stitches or you can pick up the stitches with the needle as I make. Here you can see the shape of the sleeves. You have to make decreases on the next 12 centimeters and 8 centimeters without decreases. Now we have to work 5 rows with the garter stitch, 5 rows with the garter stitch. In this case you have to knit the first stitch because it is the first row. Remember, work the garter stitch on the next 5 rows. Row number 2 also with the knit stitch. Remember, work the garter stitch to have 5 rows. Once we have the 5 rows, we have to make now one row with decreases. To make the decreases, we have to take the edge stitch, knit 2 stitches together, work the knit stitch to 3 stitches before the end, knit 2 together, and knit the last stitch. This is how we have to make the decreases. We have to repeat 5 rows without decreases and 1 row with decreases to have 12 centimeters. 5 rows with no decreases and 1 row with decreases. And once we finish the decreases, we have to work now 8 cm with the garter stitch. And once you finish the 8 cm, you have to bind off all the stitches. Here you can see the shape of the sleeves. Now I place stitch markers because it's easier for me to make now the hood.
to make the hood we have to pick up stitches of the neck one front part the shoulder the back part the other shoulder and the other front part we have to pick up stitches as we made with the sleeves in this case we are going to pick up one stitch on each stitch on the part of the shoulders one stitch on each knot and repeat the same to pick up all the stitches of the neck and we are going to work 20 centimeters with the garter stitch we have all the stitches on the, on the needle and now we have to work the garter stitch remember all the rows with the knit stitch so knit all the stitches and repeat the same to have 20 centimeters 20 centimeters Once we finished the 20 centimeters, we have to bind off all the stitches of the needle. We have to bind off all the stitches. And we have to sew now the top part of the hood to make the shape of the hood. We have to sew the stitches in one side and on the other side. Sew all the stitches together to make the shape of the hood. Now we have to sew the sides. You can start from the sleeves or you can start from the body. You have to sew the sides with a needle.
you only have to sew the buttons on the side of the front part where we don't have the buttonholes. And we finished the hoodie. I hope you like it, remember to give a like, share, subscribe to receive our new videos and click on the bell to receive the notifications of our new videos.